everyone and welcome to this Scratch Junior tutorial. This is tutorial number five where we'll be making a spooky forest. You can find this lesson on the Scratch Junior website which is linked in the description below. So let's begin by starting a new project and choosing a spooky background. Scroll down, this looks fairly spooky. It's our wood scene and press the tick. We don't need Scratch the Cat, so let's hold our finger on it until it jiggles and press the X. And we're going to choose three different characters for this one. Let's start off with a frog. And we'll drag our frog over here. Then we're going to find a slithery snake. Here we go, press the tick. Let's put it in the middle. And our final character will be a bat. So let's scroll down until we find our bat. There it is. And press the tick. And we'll move our bat over here to the left. And we're going to give this a title. So up the top here, we're going to press the ABC button. And we're going to type in a spooky forest. And I'm going to change the colour by pressing this paint bucket. I might make it yellow because I think yellow would stand out really well against our background here. Look at that, perfect. Now it's time to make some programs. So for this, let's go back to our frog because that's our first character and go to our starting blocks here. This time we're going to press the start on tap button. So this will only start the code when you tap on that particular character. So let's drag that into our programming area. And for our frog, I know a frog hops, so we'll make it hop. Let's go to our movement action buttons. And this one here says hop. So we're going to do that one. And let's do it two times. We've got two hop blocks here. You could make it easier. Um, by using a repeat block if you want, which you've learnt in previous lessons. For this one, we'll just do it like that. And that's our code. Let's press end. For our snake, we're going to make our snake grow large and then shrink again. And we're going to use the same starting block. So with the start on tap, we want to go to our um, purple blocks and we want to grow, which is this one and then shrink, which is this one. And we want it to do that a couple of times. So we want it to happen twice. So let's go to our orange blocks and find the repeat ones and drag that over the top of the two pink ones. And it says here it's going to repeat four times. Let's just repeat it twice instead. So two times and we can end our code. And finally our bat, the same starting block, start on tap. And this time we're going to use our blue blocks and we're going to use these circular ones. So this one says it's going to spin right. And then we're going to spin it left and then right again. And just for fun, let's change the middle one here to a number two, just to see what happens. And put a red end block. So now we can test out our code on all of them. So I'm going to tap on my frog first and see what happens. Perfect. Let's have a look at our snake. Excellent. And finally, let's look at our bat. Wonderful. So now it's your turn. And once you've finished, have a think. Can you make the bat spin all the way around in a circle? Give it a go. And add your own characters to make your own spooky scene. So thanks for watching and remember you can find an easy to follow version of this tutorial by visiting the Scratch Junior website which is linked in the description below. Until next time, happy coding!